Hello ladies and gents, this is the long dark and tonight we're going over the gas station, uh, some new things that they've added, and then the abandoned lookout why I found this rifle right here every single time. I lost all my saves, had to start over. It's there, problems finding ammo. You find that in the Mystery Lake area. So the first thing that they've added new is cars. Think good in the glove box. I could use this. Yeah, take some antibiotics and that. Now the only problem is, is you can't see if there's a dog out here. Because I have been yanked by a dog trying to do this. So, oh crap, I don't have a, we'll get in the back real quick. I don't have a, uh, anything, anything, no, no. okay. I don't have a, uh, pry bar. There we go. All right, so this is the gas station. And this and the lookout will be probably the last two things that we do until they do another major update. Take that ladder fuel. Let's see, looking for ammo. Have not found ammo. The only place I have found ammo is in that one little... Looks like this has been here a while. Oh. Um, fishing village. And that is it. And that's only a round. So... That. As you can see, there's a bunch of different stuff, varying conditions. I'm good on you, no water. Alright. Nope. Alright, so now... Let's see if we can find a crowbar. You can see here's a garage. Ah, pry bar. If I remember, we'll go out and get that trunk. Hope nobody needs nope, this don't anymore. need a hatchet. So with, uh, nope, don't need that. Take that. Um, with uh, having to do a bunch of restarts, because... You know, getting things to spawn is not always the easiest thing. Anyways. That'll come in handy. I got finally got my hands on some ammo. And I just DD'd it over here to the coastal highway, which is an easier... Or, the, yeah, the coastal highway was, in my opinion, easier than... The, um mystery lake area because there you it, you completely re rely on spawns this one what have we here? I found the gun every single time I went there so well that's a 96% we'll have to look at that yeah as you can see it's the same kind of stuff we were doing before Then we have this area. We got a bed in the corner. Metal container right here. Oh, another lantern over there. Ooh, Ooh look, a right. Wow, I have. I was mistaken. Rifle, rifle round right there. I could use this. It's cool, so I've got all of uh, three rounds now for my rifle. Of course, I've never, ever, every time I've been in here, and I've been in here half a dozen times, I've never got like this has been here a while. Ammo. So that's good. The devs are listening. They're, you know, putting things in. I remember if it was one of the first videos I talked about that I posted. I got to this area, and I was talking about, <laughs> why aren't there cars? 
and they just put them in and they're really I mean I would think it's pretty easy to put something like that in so there we go how good a condition is that this? Come in handy. it is not all right so I think we got this to do all right here we go and it is just a storming out there goodness like a good part of the US right now we be in the winter time. Hope nobody needs this anymore. Makes my damn feet cold sitting in here. Playing my biz. I okay, so hopefully. The uh dog won't be around here. They said they fixed the problem with the dogs over spawning, because I Locked. Not for long. Anything good? Come on, come on. Something good. Oh, come on. You're killing me. Alright, we got one more car we can check. That I left. There it is. What we here? Don't need that. Come on. Don't need that. Give me something good. Oh, my God. Really? Said something good, not shitty. Okay, so. Some beef jerky. Ooh, take that. Glove box, anything good? Uh, antibiotics, always a good thing. Especially if you got a min max and you are out of chow. Alright. So, since we're sitting in here, oh, one thing you do want to keep in mind is yeah, you keep getting colder when you're sitting in here, so. But, I'm going to show you guys where this is. It is, you ha the way we have to get to it, you know what? I'll start, we'll start going there, and I'll show you the guys the road. And you just follow it up, follow the road, and you stay to your left. Shit, I hear a wolf growling. Where's the wolf? Oh, another car. Thought I heard a wolf growl. Scares the crap. I have been killed by wolves so many times. You know, and I really think that's one thing that they really need to work on if they want this game to be successful is a better fighting system. And I've got a great way to do it. You know that? Pretty easy. Take and put um, a handgun as your sidearm, right? For when you crash, because a lot of... Um, Pilots have those. And, of course, you know, you find ammo as you go and you have the rifle as you go because it's got, you know, maybe better sights or it can, it's a, a higher stopping bullet and they can put something like bears in or, you know, other things like, like that. This has been here a while. But the current system I don't really care for. So behind the gas station here, up against these rocks, you want to go all the way up. It's a good run, so I'm not going to make you guys sit through that. But basically, you go up here and you just keep going to your left. And as I go and do it, what I'm going to do is I'll show you guys, uh, um, we'll fade into areas where you need to make sure that you turn. So I think we'll do that next after I go rest a touch. So hold on, folks. We'll be right back, and I will show you how to always get the gun, at least for me so far, in the long dark. All right, folks, real quick, as we're going here, first thing you're going to want to do as we're going up there, as you can see from the direction we're going right up the way I said we were, there's a house here you'll probably want to check before you head on up that way. And then I will meet you at the next intersection, so hold on. And here we are at the big intersection I was talking about. Ooh. Over there is a empty field. Has a name. Don't remember what it was. Nothing's in it. So you want to make a left. And just keep on trucking. So we've got a little uh, outbuilding here. Now if you find hitting this building, 
very important because where we're going to go next is actually right up here. We're going off road to get way up. See up there? Way up there. That's where we got to go. Okay, so. Because I know you guys want to know where you can get a rifle. I know for me it's one of the more frustrating things. Not being able to get that. So let's see if we got any goodies in here. You know, any. Man, these. Should, should give you more. Oh. Look at that. I've already been in here. <laughs> yep, I already got everything. Yep, you can tell I've been here. <laughs> Always min max, min max. So we're good on everything. All right. So, like I said, you go this way, and then I will tell you guys at the next intersection here where to turn next so hold on and we'll be right back I forgot there's a little obstacle you gotta get around if you go this way you might have been able to go on the road too I'm not sure but we'll just run around here looking for this arch now what where we're going is still up this way so remember look for the arch oops look for the arch and then go right don't go left yeah, because this will go up and it will wind back around. So, again. That's an awful lot of wolves. Hold on, folks, and we'll be right back. I think we should be getting a little bit... Oh, come on, really? With the frickin' wolves? You can see one up here I already killed. Hold on, let me show you guys something. I don't think they've got the spawning fixed yet. So, coming down, I killed that one. Oh, shit. And there goes another one. One. So, yeah. Obviously, they said they fixed the spawning rate in this area. They didn't. That's two. A third one just ran off. Come on. Really? So, you follow this around here. Unfortunately, but you know what? There's going to be bugs. Nobody's perfect. It's not in the gas station. This is, uh, this is serious off-roading, so I'd expect probably more rules would be this way anyways. So, hold on, folks. We are getting close. It's just a little bit further. All right, folks. We have reached our destination. So, as you can see, that's the way we were coming. And again, it's just along this log, log road. So, when you come up this way, make sure you look again for trees that are knocked over. Okay? You can see it right there. That leads actually to a dead end. So coming up this way is the easiest. You know, once you've gone and min-maxed your way through the area, making sure you got the best gear that you can. And here we go. Abandoned lookout. Now, like I said before, I did, it took me, what, 10 restarts, and three of them were on this side, trying to see if I could work my way back and forth, trying to get ammo, and every single time, there was a rifle right there. It's the rifle I have on, you can see I've already been here, so, alrighty folks. This is it. Usually not too much here. If anything, you know, uh, you can boil water if you need be. But that is pretty much, I think, it. Yeah, I just need the rest. Yeah, 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 neat. Feels like 9 Celsius. Mmm, so warm. So... As a wrap up to this little mini series, like I said, we uh, I probably won't do any more videos on this until they do some major content updates. Because at this point, there's no point. I've showed you guys pretty much everything. There's a few houses and stuff, but you guys have seen what the looting is like in this area. I've shown you all the major areas, including this hidden one. And there's more stuff. I mean, if you run around in these back and this backwoods here, you'll find a picnic area and some other things. But you know, nothing too big. 
Um, this is pretty much everything currently in the long dark, you know, and I think they definitely, uh, with everything that they've got going and the way they've got the graphics and everything else, I don't know, I was reading a little bit up on it, it sounds like they're going to be putting people in at some point, so you might have quest givers once they start, once they do the um, main story arc. So we'll see what happens. That I, I plan, of course, doing a full playthrough when the game comes out. And it sh should be out here in a few months. They were talking that uh, they only plan on being a cake scutter for like, oh, three months or so. So hopefully they'll do that soon. We can get a nice playthrough of this. And, you know, I like the game. like the survival. I think they've got most of it balanced pretty well. The only thing I don't care for is this. Where are the hands to begin with? right and you should be able to have a handgun I think most pilots I would think you put most pilots with a handgun you know raise the number of wolves you can put bears in bobcats you know they did a great job with the wolf design bears aren't that much harder just bigger and probably harder to kill you know things like that that would be my only suggestion for these guys is to rework their combat system you know if a Wolf uh, jumps on you, and maybe it you know takes 25 percent of your health, and you're you can maybe swing with a knife. They could put that animation in. Those that's not that hard of coding. So you know they just a few things they need to work on, in my opinion, especially in a survival horror game because you know they got everything else pretty well down. You know, um, but the that and. I can't wait for them to see uh, what they're going to put in. Hopefully, like I said, bears, bobcats, more wolves, people to interact with. So maybe it's more of a threat when you go into a house. Another reason to have more am uh, ammunition. They could have a, you know, they could put a 12 gauge in. Um, so, you know, go into somebody's house to loot it and ba boom, you get smoked. All kinds of different things should be interesting. Um... One thing I did notice is that um, frame rates have come up, so they have been optimizing as well in the background, which is cool, you know, which is always a good thing, especially with indie titles. You know, they really, it's really hard, hard I know, getting stuff for PCs versus consoles because consoles are just one, two, you know, three at the most crappy designs that are way behind us PC people. And then you got PC where everybody's AMD, Intel, all that various kinds of things. So... I'm going to stop rambling on here. I think this has been quite the fun little series. As always, I'd like to thank you for watching. I thank you guys so much for all your support, your likes, your favorites. If you made it to this end of the video, I appreciate it. You know, it's the longer you guys watch, the more you share, the more you like, the more you help me out. I know I'm a small channel. You know, we did good this last year, but I plan this next year being a lot better. You know, things get better and better here. That, and I got a brand new hard drive and everything's running better. So, as always, I'll see you next time if the gods don't get me first. Or, the wife.